No, it's not Metroid Prime 1 or 2. No, it's not Halo 1 or 2. No, it's not Time Splitters 1 or 2. And no, it's not Ghost Recon or Rainbow Six. It's Star Wars Republic Commando, a game that does less than all of those previously mentioned games, but at least has the saving grace of being a Star Wars game. And honestly, even then, not all that good a Star Wars game, or first-person shooter, for that matter. That isn't to say it's terrible or anything, but it's certainly not of a particularly high quality, in my opinion. It's fine, it does what it has to in a certain sense, but, you know, just what it has to. The story for this one takes place, I think, in between episode 2 and 3, and it deals with, you know, a few of the planets involved with the prequel movies, and I didn't really take too much away from the story. It's kind of a blur, and they don't spend too much time making you care about the events of the storyline or the characters. Welcome to Geonosis, Create. It's nice to see they finally unhooked you from the simulators. I've been assigned as your advisor, and will be your eye in the sky until further notice, or we all get killed. They're just all so tough and capable, and there's no vulnerability, there's no nothing, there's no characterization, they're just bland. And they're like, oh, this one's cool, he, he does the sniping. Oh, he's a cool, you know he's cool, because he says the cool lines. All I smell is burnt Geonosian. 3-8, my scanners show an explosion. That's affirmative. Subject terminated. Reloading. This place gives me the creeps. Assume strange strange position, like things. Looks like we're in some sort of Geonosian birthing chamber, gentlemen. Uh, what do you know? They are eggs. Let's give them a wide berth, just to be safe. Just when you think they can't get any more disgusting. <laughs> I never really understood the desire for so many people to want to be a clone trooper. I mean, I get that, like, you know, you don't necessarily always have to be a Jedi with a sword. Do, do you really... Do, do you really want to be these guys? I mean, even with some... with a cool paint job and some decent music, like, you really want to be these guys? Okay. I get. I mean, you're all gonna get taken advantage of by an evil emperor, but I mean, like, okay. And for the record, I am definitely confused at the high praise this game has received over the years. There are some highlights in the game for sure, don't get me wrong, but I really just don't understand the hype. There's tedious missions that force gimmicks onto the player, many that are completely distracting from what could have been an otherwise fine standard shooting level. Long hallways are littered with various enemies, mostly consisting of droids, some droids being unremarkable and grenade fodder, and others being huge bullet sponges that take forever to kill. Seriously, some of these enemies are obviously designed for you to need to assign multiple commandos on one of them just to kill them, as they take way too convenient an amount of damage otherwise. We've got a droid situation, boss! Die, you metalhead piece of trash! I don't think Trade Fed Security appreciates our work here. Heads up, Deltas. We've put quite a dent in the ship and they don't like it. The way these droids are swarming, one might think we weren't welcome. Just keep them at bay for now. No heroics. Truth be told, in general, damage is all over the place in this game. Sometimes you can take hits no problem and be so healthy that you can't even heal yourself because you're still at full capacity, and other times you die nearly immediately because more than one enemy swarmed you. How fun. Of course, if you get into the groove of commanding your team, various enemies aren't that bad, but they certainly don't make things terribly easy, either. Of course, you do need to manage your tactics really precisely in this game, despite it not really indicating it all that much. It's pretty important that you're constantly managing the commandos. Commence demolitions maneuver, Delta. Can I have some cover here? Red, red, green, or red, green, red. And I mean, since I'm a fan of a more run-and-gun style first-person shooter, maybe this is where the style kind of clashed for me. I don't know, it just really wasn't my thing, and honestly I didn't find it all that satisfying to command the commandos anyway. Not to mention that I just didn't really like the BAFTA healing system, to be honest, it just... 
it was too constant. I was constantly having to run back and heal. Sometimes I thought that I had taken damage when, in fact, I was fine somehow despite taking shots. And sometimes I can only take like one or two shots without being on my deathbed. So, I don't know. It just wasn't working for me. It really feels like more tedium than challenge, and I'm talking nearly every encounter the commandos come across. I'm starting to see the trend of Star Wars games having some annoyingly absurd difficulty spikes, and I'm not sure how this trend continues despite different development teams making the games, but whatever, I guess. Aiming and the overall controls are certainly not a strong point, and despite being ported to Switch, there is no gyro support for seemingly no reason, which the game desperately needs. I don't know why they want to give you such a sluggish time aiming when you're supposed to be the most elite clone trooper squad. Save the Bad Batch, I guess, but whatever. Maybe this is why those clone troopers seem to miss all the time. Running, melee, using items, everything just feels off and unnecessarily annoying to deal with. I don't hate how the game feels, don't get me wrong, but compared to other FPS games from that era, this feels like a huge lazy attempt at cashing in on the genre elements of the time. The environments on Geonosis are way, way, way too similar to Halo 1 and Metroid Prime. Get it in gear, Delta. Huh. Way to take one down, Delta Lee. Move, move, move! Initiate slicing protocols, Delta. I'll need some cover here. The scanning, visors, and other gameplay mechanics too all feel like Metroid Prime 1 and 2. Uh, with the music, despite being a Star Wars game, sounds more like Metroid Prime than classic Star Wars at times. What's going on with that? Don't get me wrong, I love Metroid Prime, so seeing a B version of it's not so bad, but why not look more into Star Wars than attempting to rip off Time Splitters? I know I'll be upsetting some die-hard Republic Commando fans. I must admit, once the game passes the halfway point in the campaign, the story and moments get much better, as well as provide more Star Wars feeling aesthetics. However, to get to the good levels of the game, the devs seem to want to drag you through the mud first to get there. I don't understand why they felt they needed to, but you know, okay. There's one mission that is capped at being five minutes that is unnecessarily brutal and annoying to get through. I should not have to dedicate so much of my mental energy just to get through a bunch of hallways decorated with bullet sponge enemies. The whole thing gave me flashbacks to that awful Rouge the Bat level from Sonic Adventure 2 where you had yet another arbitrary five minute time limit. I wanted this to be a romp of an FPS, perhaps one where the discoveries made by the Republic Commandos would lead to a better, more satisfying climax. But what we got was only about half of that, in my opinion. Maybe much of my frustrations have come from the Switch port itself, which I have seen gain some pretty mid to below average reviews, but nonetheless, I'm still kind of disappointed with the core experience of Star Wars Republic Commando. Sure, the window dressing and controls definitely need work. Like seriously, where's that gyro? It's still a fine game, but it's ultimately, at least in my opinion, a B version of better FPS games from the 2000s and presents too many poorly designed levels and slow controls for me to want to return to it. Maybe I'm in the minority on this one, but Republic Commando was not fun for me much at all. There's better Star Wars games out there. I just hope they don't repeat the same mistakes as this one. I mean, who likes crazy difficulty spikes and unnecessary time limits, am I right? I'm sure no other Star Wars games do that, right guys? Okay. Another kill here. Rule 39, never say no to Bacta. 